Hey, this is Craig Shoemaker, new media evangelist for Infragistics. And before we get started today, there's a few things I want to let you know about. If you've got any questions about this screencast, please feel free to email me at cshoemaker at infragistics.com. If you have support questions, you can send those over to infragistics.com slash get help. And for documentation on any one of our controls, you can go to shrinkster.com slash x62, and that'll have everything that you need. All right, well, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today what I'm going to be showing you how to do is to create a web splitter, but hide the actual splitter bars. Let's give you a little demonstration here. So this is the web splitter, and you might see something like this uh, often help files or maybe the MSDN documentation where maybe you have a tree coming down on the left hand side and over on the right hand side you have the content that will be pulled up. Um, some people don't want to have the splitter available and if you notice even if I try to hover over this there's no splitter bar at all visible. So let me show you how to put that together. What we're going to do is bring up Visual Studio 2008. This has NetAdvantage 2008 Volume 2 installed and uh, let's start with uh, building a new website say ASP.NET website and we'll call this uh, one just no splitter. Alright, we'll switch this over into design view and the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, drag onto the page a uh, script manager control. The splitter requires that there's a script manager on the page so we'll go ahead and have that on there. Also, let's bring in the web splitter control. Now this is a little dialog window that comes up that's saying that it's going to load in the appropriate styles so we'll go ahead and allow it to do that. So from there what I'm going to do is switch over to source view. Let's expand this out a little bit. Now to keep things simple what I'll do is start off by adding just a, a simple template and we'll say left over here and then right over here. Let's take a look at what this looks like now. Here we have the splitter, the left and the right side, and we have the uh, the bar where we can change the sides. So moving on from there, basically what I'm going to do in order to, to hide that splitter bar is use uh, cascading style sheets to not display it. So let's create a style section up in our header here. and create the CSS class of no display. And this will simply be display none. Now what we can do is use the CSS uh, class when we're applying it to the properties of the splitter. So let's come in here. Now what I'd like to do is I'm going to edit the paints collection a little bit. Pane 1, this is our left left uh, pane over here. I'm going to give it a size. So we'll say that the minimum size is 100 pixels. We'll say the max size is also 100 pixels. And uh, we'll be done there. So we'll apply that and then we'll come over to the properties. And what we're looking for here is the splitter bar. We'll expand this out and you see each one of these items here from CSS class all the way down to thickness CSS class we'll apply the no display class to it. And I'll just copy and paste it the rest of the way. Now just to make it so that you can really see what's going on I'm going to drop back into the source and add a, uh, a div around this here and give it an ID of, well, we'll just call it left. Now when we drug the splitter bar onto the page, it added these styles. What we're going to do is delete these because we don't need these. All we want to do is have the no display. Delete those out and now what I'm going to do is uh, call out the left div that we created here. I'm just going to give it a background color and a height so that you can see how this all works. Alright, so let's run it again and see what we've got. So 
I didn't expand this to be the same height as the other one, but as you'll see, we now have the two split sides and the splitter bar is now hidden and uh, gone from the user. So I hope this uh, shows you everything you need to know about hiding the splitter bar for the web splitter control. And make sure to stay tuned to the website for even more videos like this. This is Craig Shoemaker, and I'll be showing you more soon. Infragistics, powering the presentation layer. Infragistics.com.